I'm going to show you how to trade the JSC Top 40 Index CFDs with the position size calculator. Basically, there are two colors. There's white and there's yellow. White are the cells that you have to fill in and the yellow will calculate for you. I've emptied these cells so that we can start from scratch and I wanna start with a portfolio of 100,000 Rand, then we can drop to a portfolio of 25,000 Rand. So first let's find a trade that I recently sent out as an idea to Supreme Multi Traders. All right, so this one looks good. We'll copy that one. And let's throw it here. So let's start off with the exchange rate. Now, because we're trading the JSC top 40, assuming that you have a RAND account, it's very simple that you'll keep ZAR at one and ZAR at one. So it's one to one, which means that every point that the market goes up or down, you will only lose or gain one RAND. Then let's choose our portfolio value. So we've chosen a portfolio value of 100,000 Rand. The risk percentage per CFD is 0.5%, not 2% per trade because we're day trading and we want to make our lives more risk averse and so that we're not too emotional for when we're taking 2% risks per trade per day. Okay, is it a Forex trade? No. What market is it? the JSC top 40 index. The type of trade, is it a buy or sell? In this case, it's a buy because we went long the market. The minimum quantity, you'll find this on your charting platform, but because we're trading CFDs, the minimum quantity is one. The initial margin per CFD is 2%, also you can find this on your trading platform. The entry price is 67643. The stop loss price is 67419 and the take profit price is 68092. All right, so now you have all the information that you need. Let's see what it has calculated for you. First thing you'll notice is that the gearing is 50 times. This means that whatever you deposit, you will be exposed to 50 times that amount. And because the initial margin per CFD is 2%, that is why you gain exposure to 50 times. The initial margin per CFD is 1,352 Rand. Why is that? Because it is 2% of what the entry price actually is. So it's not like the Almi where you were paying 10,000 Rand to 12,000 Rand for an Almi and 100,000 Rand for an Aussie. This is a completely different instrument and market where you're trading the JC Top 40 Index, which is the J200, and you're only putting in 1,352 Rand per CFD. Why would you trade the Almi and the JC Aussie? Anyway, the initial margin total CFD, so it means that because you can risk 500 Rand, you can buy more than one CFD. So in this case, the initial margin was 2,705 Rand. The risk in trade is basically the points difference between the entry and the stop loss, depending on whether you're long or whether you're short. So in this case, the entry minus stop loss is 224 points. The risk value per CFD or PIP value is one Rand, which means, like I said, every point that the market moves for or against you, you win or lose one Rand. So the risk in trade per CFD is 224 Rand, regardless of what your portfolio value is, you know that you are risking between the entry and the stop loss 224 points, which equates with one CFD to 224 Rand only. The risk in trade, which is with the total amount of CFDs that you can buy or sell, is 448 Rand in this trade. So the position size and the volume where you're buying the CFDs or selling the CFDs in this case is two, okay? Or if you're trading with spread betting, then it is not 0.2, depending on your charting platform. So the position size is two, which means that you'll buy two CFDs in order to risk 500 Rand considering these parameters, okay? What if you don't have a 100,000 Rand account, but you wanna start off with a 25,000 Rand account? Well, you'll do the exact same. You'll put the portfolio value at 25,000. Now you can see that with 25,000 Rand, you can't risk 0.5% per CFD, 
because the max risk is 125 Rand. And we know that between the entry and the stop loss is 224 points. So the position size volume is zero. So can you trade much trade a supreme with 25,000 Rand? Yes. All you have to do is risk a little bit more. So in this case, your risk 1%, okay? Instead of risking 0.5%, you'll risk 1% with a 25,000 Rand account. So you'll only risk 250 Rand of your portfolio. And in this case, it's 224 Rand per CFD. So you will only buy one CFD for this trade. What if you have a 10,000 Rand portfolio account? So 10,000. Again, can you trade the much trader supreme with a 10,000 Rand account? Yes. All you have to do is go back and say, all right, what if I risk 1.5% of my portfolio? Then I'll be risking 150 Rand. So what if I'm risking 2% of my portfolio? Now I'm risking 200 Rand. All right. What if I risk 2.5% of my portfolio? That is where the level that you can trade. So with a 10,000 Rand account, you can risk 2.5% per trade. Now, because we're trading five to six trades a week, and we have a very high win rate and a very low losing rate, we also have almost 100% win rate with, with monthly gains, then 2.5% is not that bad. Because, for example, some people trade up to 10 to 20 trades at a time. But with day trading, you only need to trade about four, five to six times a week. OK, so you can trade with a 10,000 Rand account, but over time it will build, it will compound. And the thing is, you can keep adding to that portfolio as you become more emotionally adept. You can handle trades better. You understand day trading in a better way. All right. And you're evolving as a trader. So that is how the position size calculator works. And at the bottom of the description, I will actually put this exact calculator. Day trading compared to position trading is like day and night, chalk and cheese. It's more exciting. It's more real. It's more actionable. Okay. Position trading is like the investment side of trading. And day trading is the real action side of trading on a daily basis to grow your portfolio on a weekly basis, which is why only after four, five, six months, you will start seeing good results with Supreme Mighty Trader.